Hey everyone, we're going to take a look at how you're going to set up a class page. One of the things that I've already done, I'm in my gradebook, I went to groups, these students were all on this side, I created a new group by clicking add group, and I call, decided to call it 604 LK Dietrich, and the reason why I think it's a good idea to put LK for Lysiakil is because if you make your page public, it's going to show up, all Aspen users, if you choose to, will be able to see your page, and you want to distinguish between uh, buildings, um, so I think that would be a good idea to throw that in, but at minimum, I think you should put your section number and your last name. If you decide you want to change your not mind, you can just edit it here. When you want to go into settings, Right here, you want to make sure that you list it as an academic page because some of the choices are things like athletic, club, other, staff. You want to choose a page icon. I chose a book, but there are other things you can choose from. It should default to being your name for adult responsible. Now, for the start date, you would want it to start in the summer of the year that um, the fall, and then you want it to end in June of this year because probably next year you're going to create another class page but if you're thinking of just using this class page and recycling it then you might even want to change this date to being like your retirement date and just you would just change the members of the group and then here you would want to instead of having it be disabled unless you're embarrassed about your page you can enable it for all members which I like to do and then I do like to make it public and then enable logging, all that allows me to do, even though I notice the feature is not working very well right now in Aspen and they are working on the problem, it allows you to see who's logging in and taking a peek at your page and it can list all those people for you. At least it can give you the number, like it can say how many staff checked out your page, how many students checked out your page. But I've been finding that it's been uh, error messages have been popping up on that, so hopefully they're going to fix that problem. Once you're satisfied, then you're going to click, click Save and then you're ready to start your, uh, to create your page. So if we go under here to Pages, now I've already um, logged off and logged back on. So if I go to Page Directory, I'm going to see my page there. If you don't see your page anywhere on here, then I'm going to recommend you log off and log back on. But mine's on here, and when you're ready to, to do work with it, you're going to click on the icon, and it'll take a little while to load. Just be patient. But when you're ready to edit it, when you see this appear, then you may begin editing your page. So I'm going to go ahead and click Edit. Now over here, this lists some of the choices of some of the widgets that are available for you. I like to put a banner in. You may want to put a blog in there. Now blog is basically gives you the opportunity to, to have your entries dated and if somebody wants to go back uh, weeks, months, years back, they, they'll be able to do that. I like to put in some group resources. And then if you wanted to, some of the other options that I'm not a big fan of, um, you could put in weather, you could put in a survey. Forums would be, um, if you want to pose a question and actually have your students um, answer and you're not scared that they're going to put something inappropriate in the forum, then you could do that. I don't know if I'd recommend that for middle school students. I don't know if they're really mature enough for that. But that's something you can uh, experiment with. All right, now for I'm going to go ahead and edit my banner. I'm going to recommend that you have, you know, put your name on there, um, put your section number, uh, you know, maybe put welcome to class page. You would want your font to be pretty good size so people can see it. So I'm going to go ahead and change mine. So it's Ms. Dietrich's class page. And 12, in my opinion, isn't really big enough. I'm going to make that, uh, let's go with something like a, maybe a 24 for now. And if you want to make it a certain color or something like that, you can play around with that right here. I'm going to make that about red. Now, the other thing that I like to do, I have a Google page. So I'm just going to quickly insert. This is my Google page, and I'm just going to copy and paste this. And I'm going to put it in as a link. So the link icon, uh, let's see, where is that? Ah, here it is right here. And we're going to put the link, and I'm going to go ahead and paste that in. And I'm going to hit OK. That way, uh, somebody could click on that and open up my Google page. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit Save. Now, I'm going to make a couple other little videos, because I only have five minutes to, to create a video. And I'll try to uh, include all these on the resource page. Um, and I'll show you how to do a blog, and how to do group, group resources, and even how to embed a video. So do look for those.